Hello, good morning, good afternoon and good evening. So nice of you to drop in on this video. This video is about central banks and commercial banks. Before I start, this will be about the general differences between the two systems. I am not going to list out all of the activities of these two institutions. Now, central bank versus commercial banks. Yes, singularity and plurality is intentional. Before I continue, this video is brought to you by me. Let's move on. Let's talk about central bank first. What do they do? Central banks are often called bank of banks, meaning they function as the banker to the banks of any given country. But that is not the only thing the central bank is going to do. They are the banker of the government as well. If I have to oversimplify what central banks do, I have to say that the central bank of a country is going to look after the overall monetary system of the entire country. Now let's move on to commercial banks. What do commercial banks do? Well, they will take care of your money. They do tell you that they will take very good care of your money. And even when you don't have any money, they will give you money as a loan. But what is the main goal of a commercial bank? That would be profit. Profit for themselves. They can make profit from interest they collect after giving out loans to people. They give loans from the money they make by saving your own money for you. Now let's talk a little bit in details. First thing first, every country is going to have exactly one central bank. And on the other hand, there can be a lot of commercial banks in one country. The central bank is a public institution. And on the other hand, commercial banks can be both public and private. Before a commercial bank is opened, they need to get the permission to open the bank from the central bank. Central bank needs to approve the opening of a new commercial bank. The commercial bank also needs to have some amount of money in the central bank as a reserve. That reserve is going to act as a fail safe. If the commercial bank fails to operate properly and goes bankrupt, their customers are going to be paid from that money in the reserve. Central bank is the only institution that has the authority to print money and issue it in the market. Printing notes is not the only way of creating money for the central bank. They can also purchase government bonds or treasury bills, which will in turn create more money in the market. Let's talk about loans a little bit. Commercial banks provide loans to people for all kinds of needs. Central banks also provide loans, but they provide loans to commercial banks. This is going to be the last resort for the survival of a commercial bank. If a commercial bank is barely able to survive in the market, they might need to go to the central bank for help. Central banks can also influence the inflation of a country. They can do that by increasing or decreasing the interest rates for loans. The central banks are there to enforce the monetary policy. Previously, I have said that the main goal of commercial banks is profit. Then what is the main goal of central banks? They have to have a goal of some sorts. The main goal of central banks would be the overall economic growth of the country and a stable currency. There are other more complicated tasks central bank and commercial banks undertake. But 
I believe I have provided the appropriate amount of information for you to understand what central bank is and the differences between central banks and commercial banks. That was it for the differences between central bank and commercial banks. Now the bonus section is coming. But before that, if watching this video made you feel like you want to give me your hard earned money, then you can do that by becoming a patron on Patreon. You don't have to if you don't want to. You have the option to do whatever you want with your money. Remember, liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting also helps the channel out. Alright now, bonus. For bonus, I would list out the names of central banks of different countries, not all countries. In this bonus section, I have decided to have some fun. I am not going to name the country of all of the central banks mentioned here. I will name some of the country's name here like the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve is the central bank for United States. And the ones I am not going to name the country name will be like Bank of Japan. You have to guess which country has named their central banks the Bank of Japan. Alright? Let's go. You already have Federal Reserve and Bank of Japan. Federal Reserve being the central bank of USA. Then, People's Bank of China. Deutsche Bundesbank. Deutsche Bundesbank is the central bank of Germany. Germany is also known as Deutschland. Then you have Bank of France. I'm not going to name the country that named their central bank Bank of France. After that you have Bank of Italy, Swiss National Bank, Switzerland, Bank of Spain, Central Bank of Brazil, Bank of England, Reserve Bank of India, European Central Bank belongs to European Union. Yes, European Union has a separate central bank from the countries. Then you have Saudi Arabian Monetary Authority, Bank of Korea, Netherlands Bank. That's the tricky one, isn't it? Central Bank of Russian Federation. Monetary Authority of Singapore. Bank of Mexico. Bank of Canada. Reserve Bank of Australia. Central Bank of the Republic of Turkey. National Bank of Poland. It might seem a little bit tricky, but I think you can guess which central bank is from which country. And now that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I want to remind my subscribers that I am very grateful to have you as subscribers. And I really hope you learned something new today. Goodbye for now.